Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to an edition of Secret Sauce Video Recap. I'm AJ. How is everyone today? Okay, um, just want to take 15, 20 minutes, not too much of your time, because I do want to trade today. And if the market starts to show me some sort of life or push, I will stop the recording and I will just trade and I'll just shut it off. So if you hear me cut it off quick, hey, I'm a trader. This is what I do. Anyway, um, today was a wonderful day to wake up. Uh, to day trade today, a lot of great plays, a lot of ranges. One of the things I want to explain to you, if you're a new or seasoned trader in here, or an option trader, you play puts and calls, and, and, and that's your thing. Um, and I get a lot of traders that come in here just play the spy levels. And what I like to do is kind of give you a feel what the market's going to do. So for those that want to buy spy puts or buy spy calls, I can tell you I see an upside move on the on the spy today, or I see a a grind on it or I see a nice downside sell-off so look for your puts and for you ETF traders if I say those words then you know you can long UVXY and TVIX the upside along with VIX and then on the SPY you could just short it if you want to uh, on those levels so um, but you know for overall today the the unemployment numbers came out and everyone was speculating between two two and a half there was even four million was thrown out there by an analyst three and a half was a big number out there um but it, just in california i believe the claims were oh, just a million just in, in in california so the number was going to be big i was actually shocked it was only three million i i just kind of was in this five million range and i think if we had seen five million that would have probably took the market down but 3.2 million is is an, an exact rated number i mean it's just it's crazy to think that that many people and this is just the beginning because every day um you know people cannot work you know and you kind of have to look at it this way and i know it, it, it you know i'm we're in a very unique situation as day traders because we can make money every day because this is our full-time job and for a lot of you uh, that have part-time jobs or work a full-time job but you can't go to work because they closed the plant they closed the the, the 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 store. They closed the, the you know if you're a waiter or a waitress or you just don't have work you know or they're closing buildings down. But I, I only want you, and I know it's tough to see it this way. But you know, again, I wish you were day trading. You know, and I hope that whoever's listening to this will want to day trade because day trading is such a wonderful thing to do if you understand what to do, what stocks to attack you know and and how to trade i mean and that's what i'm here for and that's what all of us are here for all the great mods the dark siders the jannies myself b trades um adam news we're all here we just we want to see you succeed rafael and b trades coming in the morning giving us great plays small caps so you can don't have to have a big account um palmer always educating us dave the trader always giving us great things jt and james always giving us uh, offerings and ipos we're all here with a some uniqueness, you know, of course myself, you know, and we all trade a little bit differently, but we all kind of trade the same in a sense that we're all here to make money. We all see the same picture, what the stocks are going to do. But my point to all this is that I just want you to remember one thing. When you're sitting at home and you're bored and you can't go out, you can't do this and you can't do that, you can't go ride your bike or you can't go to the beach, I want you to remember one thing, okay? You're alive. You're not sick. All right? You're alive. Do you understand that? You're breathing. You're smelling the air. You're walking around. You're alive. You're not sick in bed. Being, being you know, you're not. you're not. You're not a statistic. So, bitch and gripe all you want at the end of the day, you're surviving. And you'll remember this for the rest of your life. Now, outside of that, money-wise, yeah, it, it's probably rough out there. I'm not going to deny it. And unfortunately, in my business, I, I don't, I don't get emotional when I trade. I just, I trade the market. If the market's going to give me eight million unemployment numbers, I'm not thinking about eight million people. I'm thinking number, boom, short the market. If, if, if the market's going to run and everyone's healthy, great. I play it that way too. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just, I'm a trader. I, I'm, I don't. I don't, uh, I don't show any emotion when I trade. It's just, you know, I, I look at it, I see it, I execute it, I make my money. 
and I try to give everybody an opportunity to do it with me. Uh, so, but just remember that you know uh, you're alive. You know, you know, I I miss going out to the Bel Air Hotel and the Beverly Hills Hotel and and Mastro's three or four days a week and, and just chilling, uh, having a martini, listening to the pianist at the at the Boulevard. I mean, Beverly Hills is my world. You know, I miss going out, but hey, sometimes you don't know who's got this disease and they're trying to touch you, and all of a sudden, bam, you're sick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need that. You know, especially for myself. And I always worry about my son, as you worry about your your family as well. And you know, if you ever doubt what I'm saying, go watch a video of somebody that has this virus, and you will be thankful who you are. So always remember that. All right. And at the same time, remember you've got a room. You've got a family in here. You got a chat room that really understands this market beyond anything you've ever seen in your world. And case in point. I mean, I want you to take a good look at a list today. Now, every day, you all see me uh, do a list, right? You all see me and comment about that I do this list. And this thing that I put out every day, this is given uh, by my room. They're the ones that decide what I'm worth. And every day, I grow. This room grows every day. We get two or three subs a day, every single day, every day, two or three. And then I think in the whole time, in the last 30 days, I've counted, I think I've lost seven people. And it's because they're newbies. They're kids from, you know, other rooms. They're hobbyists. Uh, maybe I should try this. They don't have any heart in it. They don't understand it. They just want you to push, push their buttons. I don't want people like that. Go away. You don't belong here. I want people that are driven. They have the ambition. That when they come in here, this isn't a hobby. This is an ability to make money, to supplement your income, or to pay your bills, to provide for your family. Okay, I make a living for the last 16 years doing this. This is how I do it. Okay, so the re when I get rewarded a 99% or 100%, these aren't just numbers I throw out there because I think I want. These are actual accuracy of the calls, and the calls that I put out are, are done. And I've been for the room, especially for my friend Brandy who's been here almost four years, you know, specifically Brandy, I make sure I come in early enough, finish the notes enough, give myself about five or ten minutes, at least eight minutes before the opening bell, and just go over each laid out plan. Now, you don't have to trade the pre-market. You don't have to trade the morning. You can let everything, the dust settle, and then start trading an hour after. All right? You can trade when Darkside and Janney have it. Okay? Or you can come in in the afternoon. Either way, the way we, we set up our room is I don't allow any noise, none. So a newbie doesn't come in or a seasoned, you know, you know, old person doesn't come in and go, you're wrong, that's wrong. I don't see Tesla going to 515. I don't need people like that. Excuse me? You're paying me for a service. Let me do my service. Don't challenge what I'm doing. Allow me to show you what I see. Because nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, you don't see what I see. You're not in my head. You don't know what I'm thinking. You know? How do I see Tesla pop into 560 then fade it off to 515? You don't see that. But I see it. I see everything. And I keep learning as a day trader to get better and better and better and better. Boeing's moving. Hold on. I have to stop for a second. Let me see if I can scalp this Boeing. Anytime it pops like that, it'll rip right back down. And then I can go ahead and get that. But it's pop and see. So there's the pop. Let me see if I can get just a few. There's 24, 25. I'll take that. What they give me? Good, good, good. It was the ah, seventeen dollars. It's all I made. Hey, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Seventeen dollars. Let's try it again. This is when I usually get into trouble on those pullbacks. Yeah, I'm always trying to push a little bit. There it goes. Hold on. Take a chill pill. Just watch. Okay, hold on. Okay. See if I can push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. There it goes. There it goes. There's 81s. There's 54s again. I got out before that happened. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. 
Let's try it again. Hold on. There's 42s. Let me see if I get those 30s. Come on. There's 29. Oh, there's the 30s. There's the 20s. There's the 20s. Let me see if I can go pull a little bit more. Hold on. 20, 19, right? 19, 16. Perfect. See, that's a point already dropped right there. There's That's Boeing right there. That's what Boeing does. Okay, now 181, 81, 74, 64. I could probably buy it right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, got $24 on that one. Okay, so. Okay. All right, so that's fifty dollars I made. I can't complain. What I'm doing, um, okay, just show you what I'm doing here. That trade right there. This is Boeing. So you see what happens here? Okay, you see this move? I see it moving like this. So I wait for a pullback about right here, and I and I get the pop. Then I know Boeing's going to pull again. So then I sit and wait. See when I was telling you one eighty ones in the thirties right here. See that? So then. What I'll do, I'll wait, and then I'll get a pop, and I'll sell right in this pop right here. So two trades, 17, and one for, what, 31 $32? Okay. All right, let's go back to what I was talking about. All right, so what I do here is, again, every morning I get up, and I write. I Now, I'm up at 3.34 o'clock every single morning. I've been doing it. It's, it's in my blood. And when I get up, I'm putting... You know, I, I'm, I'm watching the market. I'm listening to the commentary. I'm watching Twitter. I'm looking at what's moving, what gapped up, what gapped down. And I get a feel for the market. If the market's up 300, I'll know how to play it. If the market's limit down, I'll know how to play it. So when it's limit up, if the market's gapping up 700, I'll know how to play it. And so what I do is I start to design a whole plan. What is my plan? Now, I'm not going to go out and find it, an 18 cent stock that's going to move to 50 cents. That's, that's not what I do. That's, that's not who I am, you know. Um, there are great guys out there, and to me, one of the greatest penny, penny, three dollars, five dollars and under guy I've ever seen. There's two of them. There's Momo, and there's Zach Morris. Those two are undeniably the very best in the business. Zach Morris, you can follow him on Twitter, and Momo. And I don't know if Momo's feet is locked. That dude is off the hook. Those two guys. Uh, Momo's got a really good feel of the market, and Zach just has an amazing, uh, amazing um, feel for these small cap stocks that he can find. And uh, but for me, my my clientele, my the people that come in here, they want to trade stocks. I mean, in a sense, they want to trade a, a twenty dollars stock, a forty dollars stock. They want a stock that, like Beyond Meats, it's up eight. What are you going to do with it? They want something like Tesla that's up sixty. Uh, and then I always find a small cap stock. Today's play was uh, GPMT. That was a great play today. Okay, hold on. Uh, GPMT was a great thing. They cut their dividend, but the stock was running up, which didn't make any sense. But, hey, it is what it is. So we ran that today. I'm watching the stocks push a little bit, not too much. So today, uh, my calls that I did, I tried to give a nice range. And so I started at... Um, you know, a $2 stock that was gapping up 100%. Okay, so that's a really good play. But the key thing is I have to read it correctly to tell everyone how to play it because I have to predict the movement of that stock before it even moves. And, uh, and when I looked at that stock, I felt like don't buy it unless it kicks through five. It kicks through five, we get to six. Then from there, I can decide if it could even go higher. So today I called the stock all the way to $9 before I went on break. So that was a really good play there. Uh, cake. This was wonderful. This was gapping down because they stopped, They decided to tell all their landlords they're no longer going to pay rent. Hold on a second. Hold on.
Okay. I just made $27 on Netflix. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So Kate decided, okay, we're not going to pay our landlords anymore. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. All right. So typically you would think that the stock would just plummet. I mean, but. One thing you got to know about Cake is they got a lot of cash on hand. All right, they're no they're no small company. You know, Cake is. Uh, hold on. I told you I'm going to stop if I see a trade. I'm not going to hold back from what I do. I don't like it. Not worth it. Okay. Um, so, uh, but they have a lot of cash on hand, and that that does play a lot. And it's a cheap stock that's gotten beaten down anyway. So, to me, I wanted to uh, gap fill this. Hold on, see, was injured. Yes, cake not playing rent is good for cake. Yeah, because I guess they're putting more capital reserves. But to me, I looked at it honestly between you and I as a trader. I look at that as negative. But when I when I was looking at the stock, I said, "Okay, and I, uh, AJ, uh, put your personal feelings aside." And I, I don't have personal feelings when I trade stocks. There's no there's nothing personal about this. So my personal thing was, well, you can't even pay your rent. You should be down a five dollar stock. But my Trading side told me this is going to gap fill back up to eighteen dollars or more. So I called for an actual long at sixteen, with room to fifteen to add. I didn't want anyone to short this stock. There was nothing that said short this stock. You want to see the accuracy of cake? If you wouldn't have been in our room, our great room with the great dark cider and Jenny and pre market, you would have bought five hundred shares, made a thousand dollars today, hands down. Boom, done for the day. No brainer. This is the kind of room you're in. Know the move before it even trades. And that's exactly what I did. I put away my personal feelings, how I felt. And I just executed the trade the way I felt it should run. Okay. Then American Airlines. Well, American Airlines and Dallas uh, and Delta. Okay. This stimulus bill, if they pass, these airlines are going to pop. So these are right now in areas where we could be buying them to the long side. So they have range. So I like Dow and AAL on weakness at $15 or $14 a share, and I wanted Dow to go up to $17.18, and Dow hit $17.24. A Zoom, you know I love to play that thing. Zoom, I wanted to pull at $140, and then go to $145 to $147, which is about $146. I want you to see the accuracy of Zoom. You want to know why I get 100% in the chat room? Ding, 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 ding. Here's the short from pre-market. Slams down. Here's the 140 buy. Here's the 146 top. You see that? I predicted this move hours ago. Hours before the market even opened. When it was trading here, I had already made the decision. It took me 20 seconds to evaluate this stock and say where it was going to go, where it was going to bottom. Now, again, everyone's got a different way of trading. A lot of people trade with technical analysis and levels and this level and then this level. If it hits this level. I'm not one of those. I'm a fundamental trader. I'm a momentum trader. I know the stock better than you could ever as a technical. I own it. I will tell you exactly where it's going to stop, where it's going to bottom curl, and where it's going to rip to. That's the beauty of awesome calls. You want to see the Tesla call? This will blow you away. You want to know why people make thousands of dollars in our chat room? Those that can short Tesla, you want to see? Tesla's gapping up. It's going to move. It was only gapping up to $545 this morning when I started writing these notes. Based on the, that gap, I said, you know what? The stock's going to run to 560 and top off. When it hits 560, you're going to get a solid pullback. Pullback means it's a short. That means that stock is going to come down, baby. Okay? Now, where's the levels that are going to come down? Now, you could be a technical analysis and go, well, my analysis tells me on the theory of the analysis could do this. Okay, that's great. And maybe you know it like I do, but fundamentally, all I do is look at the stock, range it, and tell you where it's going to go without putting a bunch of uh, maybe language that maybe, I mean, I don't even understand. 
But for me, fundamentally, I will tell you where it goes. Now, you line up one of the top technical uh, traders in the world, sit them next to me, and we'll say to see, see the same thing. And that's why a lot of technical traders do so well in here because once they see fundamentally what I'm speaking of on a stock, they'll adapt their technical analysis to it, and they'll start lining up, and they can even be a better trader. And I don't mind if anybody's a better trader than me. I don't have no ego when it comes to that. You know, do I think I'm one of the best in the world? Absolutely. But if I can make somebody else one of the best in the world, <laughs> I'm honored, you know, especially if they're a, a, a technical trader that could just elevate what I do to another level. That's awesome. But for me to explain it to a trader walking in for a, a mother or a father of, of, of a bunch of kids that needs money, doesn't want to be confused with a bunch of language, just wants a, just a clean cut call. Where do I buy it and where do I sell it? Where's the top and where's the bottom? That's, your, that, that's where I come in. I'm AJ. Okay? So with Tesla, you can long the stock to 560, which would have gave you 15 points. Or you can come in like the great Tone, ATL, Live Too Long, uh, and a dozen other traders and just say, no, 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 no. I'm going to short the stock. Okay? Where do I, where's it going to bottom, AJ? 515 to 520. Now, you want to watch Tesla? You ready? Ding, 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 ding. Pop. 560. Do you see it? 560. Where's the bottom? 515. Where did it hit? 512. Here's Here now, look at the bottom. It's dragging around 515 and 518. You see this? For $6.75. This is what you get in the room. An opportunity to make hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for six bucks a day. Are you kidding me? This is why we're underpaid in this room. Okay? I want you to take a look at one other one before I finish up. Okay? Jeff Hill, AJ, took Tesla long overnight from 518. Jeff Hill made probably closed out at 550, 545. Congratulations. So here's another trade right here. Uh, Beyond Meats. Now, Beyond, you're probably thinking, why are you trading Beyond, dude? My friend is trading, uh, uh, you know, uh, this other stock that's like a dollar to dollar ten. <laughs> why am I trading Beyond? Points. The way I designed the room, I'm going to kind of explain it to you. Just kind of listen to me for one second. The way I designed this room is simply so you can come in any time during the day and nail points. One point is $100 on 100 shares. Two points is 200 on 200 shares. On two points, on two, uh, yeah. 100 shares, two points is $200. What I do is I design the room so the stock will always be in play for points. Okay? So if you miss the initial move, you miss the middle move, you miss the bottom, you miss the top, You'll still have room because the stock will bounce around, giving you a point, point and a half to play, or two points depending on the range. Case in point, Beyond. Now, Beyond got a downgrade from Goldman Sachs, but everyone in Awesome Calls knows exactly how to handle a, a, a call from Goldman Sachs. Everyone knows. We're all on the same page when it comes to Goldman Sachs. Okay? But I'm not going to sit there and tell you for free, but... In this particular stock, the stock was gapping down from previous day. So I'll show you beyond. Okay. Now, this kind of trading took me years to understand. Years. Not days. Not a month. Years. So now you see me make a call and you're like, wow, that was quick. How'd you know that? Uh, maybe about 10 years of just studying the chart, understanding the analyst, understanding when a call like that comes out, how to trade it. So you see this beyond? It's a perfect example. Beyond's gapping down. See the gap down? Close at 73, gapping down to 69. On this gap down, I saw it even pull even more. In pre-market, right around here at 4.30 in the morning, I made a decision. Long the stock. Long the stock at the opening bell. The stock will run to $73, 72 to 73. It will gap fill back up, and then you could short it for money for at least five, six, seven, eight points. Okay, this is what I wrote, beyond, beyond, gapping down eight, 
this will rain, pop right at the open to 72 or more. All right? Look for topping off. I even told everyone, don't be surprised if that gap fills. How did I know that? How do I know that? How do I know a stock sitting at $67, $68 a share? And if you bought it long, you would make three to four points in a blink. How do I know that? 16 years of day trading. Okay? These, all these other rooms that came from here have only been trading for a couple of years. They might be good, but they're not great. There's a difference between greatness and being good. Okay? And there's very few that are great out there. Let me tell you. Again, as a day trader, especially as one that educates, teaches, mentors, helps, coach, there's a difference between greatness and good. This is a greatness call from a great trader who understands the market, understands the analyst. And then from there, once it gap fills, then you can short it and have a nice decline. So let's just say you came in a room. You couldn't short beyond, but you could long it. I'm assuring you, you're going to get paid at the opening bell. Buy 100 shares. Okay? Here we go. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. You see how quick that was? Within 10 minutes, you made $400 on 100 shares with $6,900 buying power. See how simple? Now, for the short sellers, they just wait. AJ said 72. 200 shares short. Go to 73. Go to 74. Nobody cares. Show me red. I'll just add into it. Boom. Another 200 shares. Now you short it. Within the first 10 minutes of that, you pulled down three points, which would have made you on 400 shares, $1,200. If you're patient, you would have got down here, 67, for a nice eight-point trade. Right? Seven, seven, is it seven? Hold on, 67. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, about six points. So if you had 400 shares for six points, you cleared. Now, when you clear, you clear half, quarter, done. Half, quarter, done. You always pay yourself in our room. All right? You always pay yourself. Just in case it pops on you, runs to the upside, the market does something crazy, you pay yourself. You do not take a stock and just... Hold it and marry it. Do not marry stocks as a day trader. That's not the. That's not what a day trader does. All right. Here's another trade. GPMT. Now again, this to me was stupid. It was stupid. But again, I can't trade on emotions. I'm a day trader. I'm an educator. I'm a teacher. So whatever I think that's stupid for being up, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of things that tells me on this gap up that this stock is going to run today. It, it volume, the amount of volume, the blocks, how the market makers, how they keep it tight. There's so many entities when I'm looking at a stock that tells me how to run trade a stock. So I will look at a stock like this and I'll say, you know what? Mm -mm. We're not shorting the stock at the open. Okay? If this pops and gets through five, we're going to run to six. When six comes, I can tell you if we got more range in it. Just right here, just right here, I was able to make people thousands of dollars by understanding. First, in pre-market, I said, watch the move to five. Now, this was at $4 and $4.20. In pre-market, you could see right here, it hit five. It hit five right there. As soon as I started writing the notes. Why? Because I have 18 chat rooms in here. So they're all from... Discord rooms, chat rooms, they're all sitting in here. Oh, he likes this. So all of a sudden, every every trader out there in the world was playing GPMT, which again, to me, when I have volume and big blocks, I can move a stock. So once the stock hit the five, then it pulled back down. Then here's the 450. It did not break 450 today. So as long as it didn't break, I felt we had one more shot. So what I told everyone was, don't long it now unless you break 540. You snap 540, bam, you're moving up. And within, I don't know, two minutes after I said that, 540 hit, and it ran to 630, it ran up to 7. Before I went on break, I said it had one more run in it. I keyed it, keyed it out, the stock ran at 9 bucks. 
This is day trading. Opportunities like you've never seen before in your life. So I wanted to take this 45 minutes out and just kind of just tell you a little bit about what Awesome Calls is doing. Right? It's not just getting up and just going here, long here, short here. No, 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 no. There's so much knowledge behind each of our moves. Why we're doing it. Why did we pick this stock? And the end result, imagine for a second. Just imagine paying for a service that provides 10 to 12 ideas that is 100% accurate on their calls. Maybe you might ding me to 95 or 98, but think about what you're saying. This dude is 95% accurate. This dude is 97% accurate. So no matter what trade I pick on his list, I can make money. And he can coach me, mentor me, and teach me. And stop what he's doing and help me make money. I don't have the luxury all of you do when you come in our room. You focus on one or two plays and that's it. I'm focusing on four plays and 400 day traders. It's a little bit different. And in this room, you come first. And that's the way it always be. When somebody asks me how many traders are in the room, one, you. Always remember that. That's how I built this room, and that's how I will always teach you and treat you. You are the most important person in here, whether you're a newbie or a 30-year veteran. My job is to help you make money and become comfortable, become happy, and love what you're doing. Okay? So... You want to be a part of our great room? All you got to do is click any of our links. Boom. The great Sergio in uh, Barcelona set all this up. My website. This is the great website. Commentary, videos, introductions, webinar services from Darkside to Janny. Uh, Darkside is one of the most premier technical traders. I've had some good technical traders over the years. But this dude, this man, <laughs> he's off the hook. Okay? He's on another level. That's all I can tell you. When he talks, he's just on another level. And, but once you get into his room, it's amazing the things that you learn. And I encourage everyone who wants to be a great technical trader, learn from a great technical person. Okay. Uh, Jenny is the premier. He taught me seven, eight years ago, finding toppings. Um, Jeremy, I appreciate your willingness to help us newbies to pause what you're doing to guide when you ask if it's good or long at a very price. You're the best. Well, thank you. Again, if I didn't do that, then what's the purpose of the room? You know? And I and Jeremy, pretty soon, in about six months to a year, you're going to take off the new trader. You're going to just be Jeremy. Jeremy the Great. Okay? But thank you. I appreciate that. So, uh, Jenny, want a premiere? I wish Raphael had one. I love Raphael. Uh, Ari Servan. I mean, this 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 guy's off the hook. He finds these small cap stocks, these movers, Carvana. For anytime he speaks, I just stop what I'm doing because <laughs> the dude is he's been here seven years. Guy's so great, but he doesn't have a service, a webinar service. I wish he did because we could learn a lot from him. I would pay to listen to uh, to what Raphael sees. Um, and of course, you got my strategy room and how to trade the open, uh, and then. Scroll down, uh, day, week, month, and my yearlies. And that's it. And you're in the room. Okay? Uh, here's some of them. We have Raphael. This is the general I was talking about. Dave the Trader. Janny. Uh, some dude, AJ. I don't know who he is. Uh, B Trades. Darksider. Uh, we've got uh, Adam News. We need to add. We've got uh, Adam. Adam's amazing. I love, love Adam. Such a great guy. Great person. Great leader. Uh, we have Dave the Trader, uh, we have Raphael, uh, B Trades, Palmer, uh, who's a part timer trader that's been making probably thousand fifteen hundred dollars a day. Uh, James and JT, so we need to add a few more. But yeah, just proven people that have been with me for a long time. Trust me, you can't come in this room and just be a mod. It doesn't work that way. Even if you're a seasoned guy that's been running a room, you need to see how we run. We need to see how we trade because we are the most unique, most different room in the world. And uh, I don't think anybody could really truly, you can copy what we do. You can copy every day, which so many of them do. But you're really at that end of the line. You're not us. We are, we, we are, <laughs> we're it. Okay. So anyway, that is today's uh, 
Secret Sauce webinar recap. I hope you enjoyed it. I haven't been able to do one for a couple of days. I'm glad that I did. Felt great. I got some energy out. And uh, I'm going to continue trading with the room. Take care. God bless. And I hope you listen to this all the time. Take care.